Hey, wrestling fans, we're back. We apologize. We had a bit of technical difficulties. Um, a little, uh, we had a little bit of signal problems, but we are back. We are yes, back at full effect. Um, as we were mentioning, the uh, the era of the 80s and 90s about Macho Man Randy Savage and the immortal Hulk Hogan. Yep. So, Jaden, I mentioned about Drew McIntyre and Hulk Hogan. What do you think about that match? Uh, That's a good question. Um, you see, I feel like... Oh, man. This is, a, this is a little trick question. It can't be a trick question. This is a trick question. Of course it can. You're a Hulk Hogan fan. How? But anyway. Between Drew um, McIntyre and, 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 and... You know what? Who do you have? I want to hear your side of this. Honestly, listen. I'm a big Hulk Hogan fan. I'm a huge Hulk Hogan fan. But I would have to give it to Drew McIntyre. I agree with you now because, like, if you if you actually want me to think about it, wrestling back then is not the same as the wrestle as look Well, wrestling now is not the same as back then. But that's kind of a good thing because you know back then it was just all about leg drops. You know. Um, Leg drops, you know, super kicks, clotheslines, you know, the simple stuff, suplexes. Now you see these people doing oh my god flips, suicide dives, um, doing flips and kicks and stuff like that. So, like, and Drew McIntyre, you know, is one of those fast guys, and he's a tall guy and a big guy in the ring. So, imagine having a Hulk Hogan against a Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre is strong. He's fast and he's tall, and once he hits you with that claymore, that's it. it. it that's it. You, that's it. You can't. You there's no kicking out of that. I know. I know. Guys, we want to apologize. Um, we're trying to get the kingpin back on the, the show. show. Yes. Um, we're having the technical difficulties. Unfortunately, we're are, we are not able to add him on. Um, we will try to work something out to bring him back on the show. Uh, with more connection, I do apologize again. We are having um some internet problems. We are. We do apologize, kingpin. I'm sorry, brother. We uh we do apologize. We're definitely gonna get you back onto the show. Yes. But feel free to join us on the chat as uh, we go along. Christopher Brown is here. Welcome, brother. And uh, Ben Cliff wanted from the England guys. Uh, Christopher Brown says I gotta give the edge to McIntyre Lewis. What can Hogan do to the fan against the clout, the Glasgow kiss or the Claymore? Right. Yeah, That's absolutely right. It's it's a no win situation. You know, Hulk Hogan is a powerhouse. He is a powerhouse. He was a fan favorite. But I definitely uh, would have to give this one to Drew McIntyre. Now, what about Macho Man and Drew McIntyre? Do you think that Drew McIntyre could take the power of the elbow? Of course he can. I, I think he can take the power of the elbow. I absolutely think he could take the power of the elbow. Because, uh, okay, don't get me wrong. Macho Man has hit the elbow on almost everybody in that you was in his wrestling, his wrestling time. And you know, once he would probably hit you with an elbow, that that's it. That's like the game winner for him. But nowadays, it's hard not to kick out of one of those things. So like, a simple elbow from the top rope is probably not going to do much. Because you see that on the regular nowadays. So I still feel like if Drew McIntyre <coughs> was to hit a claymore on him, that would probably be it. Hmm. But it, don't get me wrong, he would probably have to do it a few times because the Macho Man... Is probably known for getting up after those kind of things. Okay, so in in that indication, okay, so Ben Cliff says Macho Man all day. You know he's going uh, for the Macho I Man. Go with Drew. Uh, Christopher Brown says Macho Man Drew would be more would be a little more unpredictable for a finish at least. Yes, it would be because Macho Man is this uh, crazy lunatic that you don't know what you're getting from the Macho Man Randy Savage. You know, Macho Man is just out there. But he is, what's but crazy? You can't, you can't expect the same thing. You gotta expect the same thing from Drew McIntyre. No, of you course. Never, you no. never know what he's gonna do. I Absolute, mean, we get, no, okay, I get it. Okay. We, they all have the same finisher. Every superstar has their own finisher, and that's what they always use. But sometimes you never expect something to happen. Like okay, for example, okay. there could be a powerhouse, and he could do like a high fly move. You never know what to expect from them. Okay. So, do you think that the era of today? would have been able to deal with the likes of Macho Man and Hulk Hogan back then? Honestly. 
I'm gonna ask you fans the same question. Do you think back the wrestlers of today See, would have been able to deal with the likes now, of Macho we're Man? We're talking Hulk about back like then? wrestlers like at this very moment. At this very moment. No. Okay. Why? Because like like I said earlier, wrestling isn't the way it used to be back then. Back okay. then, wrestling was more technical. Now, you know, they do. Now, I'm not saying wrestling is not technical anymore, but it's not as technical as it used to. And, you know, imagine a, giving getting a Hulk Hogan, a Mr. Perfect, a Macho Man, a, a, a Jake the Snake Roberts, or a Ric Flair at their primes. Imagine putting those men... Against that, a ravishing Rick Rude. Imagine putting <coughs> those guys against these people, but them at their primes. That's that's an easy kill right there because these, you know, these people are not as much as uh, uh, they don't have as much sweat and breed as the old school guys did. So you know, they see, have to get themselves up there. exactly. See, Ben Ben Cliff even said it. Macho Man's Macho Man era was by far the better era. Exactly, Absolutely, right. it was. Because that's and what I'm wrestling not, I'm not an was. Old wrestling. Person, I'm an old school person. I understand person. it. I the wrestling it. of today is nothing compared no. to the wrestling back in the eighties. I'm fourteen, they, and they, I'm uh, young, you got I Christopher it. Brown that says I think they would have been able to handle Macho Man easier. Hogan would have been used more as a sideshow rather than something serious in the ring. Exactly, but that's what I'm saying. That if these wrestlers from today would have been in, in, against Hogan and Macho Man in their prime. There will be no comparison. No, there, there could be a comparison. Don't get me wrong. They they won't be like super unstoppable and unbeaten. They might do that for a little bit, but I feel like there's some of these wrestlers now from like 2013 and up can probably take on like people like Seth Rollins, um, people like Randy Orton, sometimes Triple H if he you know gets in the ring every now and then. <laughs> People like that, you know, people that's been wrestling See, like that, for the okay. company. Let me tell you something. So like, See, like and, Triple H, uh, okay, yeah. so let's say we saw Hulk Hogan mm -hmm. and Triple H battle. They they battled for the first time ever for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Right. You know, and Hulk Hogan won. But of course, Hulk Hogan was going to win because of his comeback. Yeah, exactly. But who would have thought they would have ever seen a dream match like that? That's what I'm saying. Let alone the match that The Rock and Hulk Hogan had at WrestleMania that... The crowd just was chanting Hogan, Hogan, because of the the impact the man had in professional wrestling. Same thing with Macho Man. Macho Man came back. Macho Man at a point came to visit. He would he came back to WCW. He had got this major ovation. The man made a statement in the ring. They both did. But look, that listen, listen to this. I feel like there's no comparison for this era. But if we're talking Attitude Era, I feel like there's a big comparison. We had The Rock, John Cena, the Doctor of Thugonomics, Batista, the Legend Killer, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels. The list goes on and on and on. There was many people in the Attitude Era that made the Attitude Era the Attitude Era. Stone Cold that made the Attitude Era practically. Stone Cold and The Rock since they had that su such a big feud. So imagine putting people in the Attitude Era at their primes against the 80s and 90s era at their prime. That could work. You could see competition going on. Of course you could see competition. You could see competition. People, people still talk about this day. What would have happened if John Cena, Cena would have ever fought Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan, Hogan exactly. in their primes? You know what I mean? Exactly. So, and I'm not talking about John Cena, hustle, loyalty, respect. I'm talking about the doctor of thugonomics, John Cena, against you know Hulk Hogan, the one that rips his shirt. That Hulk Hogan. We're talking about prime here. So I would have loved to see that match. Out. Okay, so so okay, so we got a few comments here, Jaden. Right. Um, Christopher Brown says Vince is killing kayfabe and tearing down the fourth wall of the business. Um, has done damage to the business. I'm unsure it will recover from thanks to things like social media. Um, ben Cliff says Hogan, Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, Jimmy Snuka, Bruno San Martino, Andre the Giant, Jake the Snake, Bret Hart. Compared to the guys today, none of the guys today are to the to the caliber of those right, guys. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. I a hundred percent agree I, yeah. with you there. And then Alvin Cloud says, I think Orton, Triple H, Brock, Kurt could handle the golden era of wrestling. See now. Okay. See now. Brock, I I feel like he can't handle that. No, Brock. Ugh. Rock. Rock is pretty much. But look, like you, you gotta remember, like Jose said, if he does get on, if he does get on a streak, then there's no stopping him. No, but see, but, but the, that, I, that's this, what okay, I'm saying. But look, like, Brock, listen, Brock Lesnar, no, listen, the, no, the Brock Lesnar from before, 
would have been able to deal like guys of like Hulk Hogan and Macho Man. Right. This guy now, nah, hell you no. can't handle them. You know like, what I mean? You can't. It, it wouldn't work. It, would, it wouldn't he, work. If he was to put like a Hulk Hogan, or if he was to put like a Hulk Hogan, yes, he beat Hulk Hogan. Man, but he beat he Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan when he wasn't in his prime. Exactly, spot. exactly. If he was to go against like a, a prime Hulk Hogan or a prime Macho Man. Or say, for example, he was to go against like a prime snooker or perfect or something like that. There's no competition. He would make, they would all make Brock Lesnar look like a rookie. Because those guys wrestling, like they, they're known for their wrestling skills. Like I get it, you know, like people my age nowadays would be like, oh, what kind of wrestling is this? Is it just a leg drop? But back then, a leg drop was actually it, it, a power. When you hit a leg drop, it's like uh, when, when Hulk Hogan slammed Andre the Giant, Giant. WrestleMania. Exactly. Here. You're having a whole bunch of pounds, a pound, a big pound of a leg landing, exactly, and, and nine landing pounds. on your neck. Landing on your neck. That's, so, that's a lot okay. of weight right there. So we got another few comments. Uh, Moses Marquez, welcome, brother. Uh, as always, Moses Marquez, Smart Mark Radio, and uh, Cali, he's doing, he does a great job there. Um... He says the doctor of thugonomics. Um, and then Alvin Cloud says, my dream match is Andre versus the Big Show. And Ben Cliff says, I think the problem with wrestling today, it's all about wrestling. It, it's all about wrestling. Who's the better wrestler? Gimmicks and characters aren't even important today. They are forgetting the entertainment side of the business. Absolutely. Not even that. It's all about, yeah, like he said, it's all about... Moses says, Our, uh, Kingpin, you're alive. I must tell others. <laughs> yeah, like he said, it's all about... Um, It's yeah. it's all about the era. You know, it's... It, it, and nowadays, they, they're trying to be like, oh, we're going to make this the greatest match. Whoa, we're going to put this person there. We're going to put this person no, there. No, but that's what I'm saying, that you can't... To me, I'm always going to be an old school guy. I'm always, always to the will, max. I'm going to be honest. I will never like, I probably won't like WWE anymore. Until, I will probably like, I will probably enjoy WWE probably 2011 and down. We have our uh, lovely uh, director, your stepmom, my lovely wife, Yesenia. Hi, honey. Thank you for joining us. Uh, she's watching our show, analyzing everything. Uh, we also have Christopher Brown also mentioned it's because that Vince is focused on trying to attract Hollywood without losing his wrestlers to Hollywood like he lost Dwayne, Dave, and Cena. Uh, I, I can agree with that. I agree you know, with it's, that it's, because it's, a lot of people are making movies now. No, of course a lot they're of making movies. Are making you know, John movies. Cena went from making The Marine, which was a terrible movie, and to, now he's making some good movies. He's to in making Fast some Nine. great movies. He's in Fast you know what Nine I mean? now. So no, he, that's that's a movie I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. Absolutely. So, so back to topic at hand. Yes, back to topic at hand. So, Jaden. Yes. You have seen Hulk Hogan fight in the era of the '80s. You have seen Macho Man fight in he, the era of the his, '80s. I feel like people that understand Hulk Hogan's fighting skills would probably call that godly because, like, the the fighting skills from back then and now are. Absolutely. Well, you want well, you want to know something funny? Hmm. Um, the other day, I put up a topic of discussion of the Macho Man Randy Savage of uh, who brought in the, uh, who did a bigger impact in professional wrestling, Tito Santana or Macho Man Randy Savage. You would have no idea the amount of people that were picked the Macho Man. Everybody picked because the Macho he's Man. He's a great wrestler. Of course, he's he a great a, wrestler. He was technical too. He was a good in ring wrestler, and I give him absolute props for that. No, absolutely, he was a great wrestler. He was. And um, Moses Marquez mentions D Malenko versus Daniel Bryan is something I love to see. That would have been an excellent match. That definitely would have been an excellent match. Jaden, hmm. that right there is by far when it comes to professional wrestling. Fantastic because fans remember Macho Man Randy Savage. Not taking anything away from Tito Santana because Tito Santana was an excellent superstar too. But this is the Macho Man. Yeah. <laughs> so, in your opinion, fans, give us your dream match for one for Hulk Hogan and one for the Macho Man Randy Savage. And while you guys are doing that, well, what were you gonna ask me? That's what that's what we need to discuss. What that, were you gonna ask me? That's the question. The dream match. The dream match between who, both of them. Who would you pick? Which opponent would you pick for the for Macho Man and Hulk Hogan? And while you're doing that, I'm gonna be reading our comments. Ben Cliff says, "Prime example of a guy who is out and out gimmick." 
and character is one of the biggest stars on AEW is Orange Cassidy. Good gimmicks and characters get over better than a good wrestler sometimes. Yes, Orange Cassidy does have a good gimmick. And he makes it up with his talent in the ring. Um, we was actually having this a conversation on Weekends of Wrestling uh, with Mr. Jose G. Enrico. Um, that was, uh, that, that, that's a good point. And Christopher Brown says Cassidy does a, good, a great job being the heel. Ben, but we need to see if he can handle being on the other side of the coin. Yes, that's true also. Um, Alvin Klaus says, but I think the best wrestler today to give Randy Savage a great match would have been Orton or Edge from 2007. I, yes. Uh, we're, yes. Uh, if we're talking legend killer Randy Orton, I absolutely agree. Wow. This is an interesting dream match by Christopher Brown. What is it? Um, Hulk Hogan against AJ Styles. And Macho Man against CM Punk. Wow. Interesting. Then uh, Beckliff says, Dean Malenko versus Taz in ECW was wrestling master class. Boring to some people, but it was amazing. Yes, because it was technical. Technical, and it was amazing. And Avocado says, Hogan versus Austin. And Randy Savage versus Orton. Amazing match. Excellent match. It was... I, I, I wish I could have seen Hulk Hogan and Austin and Randy Savage and Orton. Like, you see these two, you see these four men, four iconic superstars. It's like, damn, why couldn't we see this match, like, now? Because now you don't see what professional wrestling is about okay, anymore. I got, I got one of my dream matches. But, like, I really don't have a matchup for Hulk Hogan because there's, there's nobody that can compete, if you want me to be honest. But I... It's probably a weird match. It's, pro it's probably you mean a weird Hulk Hogan in his prime? It's probably hold on. It's probably a weird match to everybody, but I would like to see Macho Man and Shawn Michaels go at it. I would see that. I would like, I to, would see like Shawn, to see I would that. Like to see Macho Hulk Man and Shawn, Shawn Michaels, Michaels in his prime and Macho and Man too. His prime? Absolutely. Yes, I would like to see. That. I would definitely I would like to see that, that. match. Shawn, uh, and I'm talking Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels yes, against you know yes. Macho Man, the Showstopper, the Showstopper. Yeah, the showstopper. The showstopper. Yes, oh, hell yeah, yes, hell yeah. We'll pay, definitely I would love pay to, to see, see that those match. Two go at it. Um, ben Cliff says who Hogan versus Bruno San Martino. Oh, I, I would have paid to see that one. I wish it would have <laughs> happened, but it never did, unfortunately. Okay, no. And uh, Macho Man against Radish and McRude. Yes, it did happen, and it was a hell of a match. It was a really good match. Macho Man did win, and it was really good. So. Who was your dream match, Dad, for Hulk Hogan? Um, I would have to say Hulk Hogan and Bobby Lashley. Oh. Bobby Lashley. And the reason I say that is because Hulk Hogan in his prime was buff. Was big, yeah. Bobby Lashley He's now big. is He's huge. huge. Two powerhouses going and Bobby Lashley is and fast. And he can move. Bobby Lashley is can fast. Move, you know? He can yeah, definitely move. Absolutely. And for Macho Man, I would have to say Eddie Guerrero. Okay, now who do you give that to? Oh, that's I'm I'm staying neutral with that one. I, I can't really compare that. Now what to, about uh, the what about Brian, the other Ryan, one? welcome brother. Appreciate you watching. Uh today's topic was uh who had the better impact in professional wrestling, who could deal with the era of today? Macho Man or Hulk Hogan? The madness meets the mania, and he heard that when the when the mega power was locked horns and they locked hands. Um, Christopher Brown says, "Here's another two for you, Lewis: Hogan versus Bray Wyatt oh. and Macho Man versus Daniel Bryan." Wow. See, I would prefer. I would like to see Bray Wyatt. And whoa, speaking of Bray Wyatt, but well, hold uh, on. Oh, wait, wait. wait. We, before we we we're gonna get a little bit off topic for a minute here. Before we before we get into this, before we finish this topic, if you guys haven't been up to speed, Bray Wyatt is back. We're not talking about Fiend Bray Wyatt. We're not talking about Firefly Funhouse. We're talking about Bray Wyatt, the eater of the worlds. The Bray Wyatt, the he eater came back of worlds. And he did a crazy promo against Braun Strowman that was absolutely amazing. Follow the buzzards. Yes. <laughs> But yes, back to the topic. Back to the topic. Uh, like ben, to Cliff, ben Cliff people. says, okay, Macho Man versus John Cena then. The promos would be absolutely fury. And I talking, agree. Which, and we're talking about Doctor the, of the, the economics. He And Woo. I feel like at that time, he had the best promo. He had the best promos against wrestlers. Because not only he would talk crap about them, 
but he would put oh, it, it into funny. a rap. It was funny. He would put it into a rap, it and was he would funny. he would crack jokes. He would crack jokes. He used to do it to JBL. He used to do it to it Christian. It was amazing. Did it to it was Edge. Amazing. He did it to it. so many people, it. and he used to make it fun. And, and, he used and to then, rap about and then it. And then WWE screwed up his career. Yeah, screwed up his damn career. Loyalty, respect. Like, come, come on, now. you try to make him a modern day Hulk Hogan. It wasn't gonna work. That's what I'm saying. No, you can't make another Hulk Hogan. Stick to one Hulk Hogan. There's only one Hulk Hogan. John Cena was his own kid. Just like this one Undertaker. Just like there's one Undertaker, just like there's one Shawn Michaels, just like there's one everybody. You can't make another wrestler no. because at the end of the day, they are who they are. Exactly. So you cannot make another Hulk Hogan and you can't make another do Doctor of Thugonomics. Like now, the Doctor of Thugonomics, if you see him now, no one's going to like him because he's not how he used to. Like he doesn't talk like how we used to. He doesn't act like how we used to. So Ryan, Ryan says, Ryan says, Macho Man versus CM Punk. A lot of people well, wanted saying, to yeah, see that Macho match. Man versus Punk. You know, it's, it's, it's something that I, I wish I would have been able to see. You That's know? the only thing you can do on a video game. I know, Sadly. I know. Which, which, you know, I know someone's watching uh, Mr. Mr. Jose G. You know, he wants to smoke in uh, 2020 in the PlayStation, which I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring the pain soon. Okay, my brother? I hope you're ready. Because I'm coming for you. Uh, back to the topic. Um, uh, ben Cliff says, and for comedy value, Macho Man versus the Black Machismo, Jay Lethal. Because what's better than one Macho Man, two Macho Men <laughs> slapping out loud? Absolutely. J Jay Lethal, is, he's a funny character. And Christopher Brown says, here's another one. Laughing out loud. Hogan versus Andrade, Savage versus Orton. A lot of people want to see Savage versus Orton too. Yeah, it's, it's no, between that, that's, Savage. That's, it's between Punk and Orton. Yeah, that that's, uh, that's a, that's a, a lot of people want to see that. No, that that's that's um that's Maybe, a battle that you, many people. But that, still talk if you about. want me to be completely honest, I feel like Randy Orton is underrated. They don't give Randy Orton the respect. Um, I feel like he needs. I feel like he's underrated. I would have to disagree. Why do you say that? Because pretty much Randy Orton is royalty. In the WWE, he he's is. gotten everything handed to him because yes, he worked hard. Don't get me wrong. Not that. let me rephrase that. He he didn't get it handed to him. He did work hard. He he went up the ladder. He got hurt a few times. He you know lost. He became the youngest wrestler. He became the youngest world, world heavyweight, heavyweight champion. champion. Yes, but I think he is still known to this day, and they're giving him the respect because we are to me personally, we are officially seeing the dawn and return. Of, of the, the legend, legend killer. killer, especially the way he punted Christian's head on Monday. See Night now, Road. that's what that's that's what I'm talking about. That that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about Legend Killer Randy Orton. I'm talking about the Viper Randy Orton. He was he was underrated, but like you know, I see why because they made him a little a little soft in the Legend Killer. Mm -hmm. But that would be nice if we could see the return of the Legend Killer. I mean, he didn't. To be honest, he didn't like the theme song. He said it himself. But even without the even without that old theme song, we can still see the legend killer. Oh, absolutely. So we got Alvin Cloud that says Batista versus Hogan. Ooh. You know, that was one of the Ooh. matches I had in mind. I'm not gonna lie to you. And Savage versus Eddie Guerrero. I mentioned that That's, there. That's the ma yeah, match. That must be and, a dream um, match right there. Uh Bankliff says Hogan or Macho Man versus Triple H, the, the Cerebral, Cerebral Assassin, Assassin Era. The Cerebral Assassin Era. Not before the game, the cerebral assassin when he was a heel. heel. And uh, Brian says a match they have yet to do: Lashley versus Lesnar. That match is gonna happen. I put money on it on June twenty sixth, nine p.m. That match is gonna happen. Watch. But I feel like Bobby Lashley's gonna take. Of course, Bobby Lashley's gonna take. They're tired. They're tired. Unless up. Vince is gonna have go to his golden boy Brock Lesnar to win the title again. They better no, please God no. They, they shouldn't. So, fans, before we go, give us your input. Who do you think made a bigger impact in professional wrestling in WCW and WWE? Hulk Hogan, the immortal Hulk Hogan, or Macho Man Randy Savage? Oh, yeah, Macho Man elbow from the top. <laughs> um, Justin Stanley, thank you. Welcome, sir. He says, I'd say Texas Tornado versus Orton. I'm sorry, you showed up uh, right in the middle, sir. Today's topic is actually between Macho Man and Hulk Hogan. Uh, who uh, would you pick as a dream match for both superstars? And who made the bigger impact in professional wrestling? Hulk Bryant says, 
Clearly the immortal Hulk Hogan. Hogan. And let me tell you something, brother. You know, that's Hogan. <laughs> oh, man. Christopher Brown says that match may happen, Brian, at Survivor Series. At the absolute latest, Lesnar is facing McIntyre at SummerSlam. So, Jaden, the million dollar question. Who do you think made a bigger impact in professional wrestling? I feel like Hogan got the bigger impact because, you know, I feel like they both got their the push they needed, but I feel like Hulk Hogan was like, back then, basically like the golden child. So like, you know, he was the special one. So they gave, they gave Hogan the biggest push of them all, you know, probably to be the best wrestler in that era. But I feel like Macho Man was probably not so far from him. But... I'll, I'll give it to Hogan this time. Okay, to okay. I'm going to answer that question soon. Uh, we're going to get to some comments. Okay. Um, Justin Stanley says both of them. That's a good answer. Both of them. Yeah, they actually did. Um, Hulk, uh, ben Cliff says Hulk Hogan did. He made WWF massive, and then when he went to WCW, that was huge. Plus, the biggest heel turn in history was historic. Absolutely. When he turned on the Macho Man at, at uh, Bash at the Beach, I believe. Uh, Christopher Brown says Hogan did more. For WWE than WCW, Savage did do, did uh, some good in helping WCW. Notice, but not until Hogan arrived to help establish the NWO. Right. Okay, uh, excuse me. Uh, Alvin Klaus says I think Lashley versus Brock will happen at Summer 2020, and NWO Hogan had a bigger impact in wrestling. And Bencliff says, but despite having a NWO. I'm more of a Macho Man fan than Hogan. Okay. But that's his opinion. That's his opinion. And we respect that. That's what we have for the wrestling fans. He's more of a Hogan fan. Uh, Macho Man fan, I'm sorry. I would give this one to Hogan for the simple fact I saw a biography that Hulk Hogan introduced the Macho Man to Vince McMahon to bring him on board. And that's when he started... Um, he started getting noticed in professional wrestling. You know, he started taking on the likes of George the Animal Steel, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, you know, Tito Santana. You know, he the list goes on and on, man. I mean, he helped them, yes, but like, you know, since well, they, Hogan, had that, they had that hatred Hogan going on after is, that. Exactly. But Hogan had WrestleMania after WrestleMania after WrestleMania after WrestleMania. He made the first WrestleMania with Mr. T, Roddy Piper, and Norbro Ondorf. Uh, Ryan says Hogan has reached the highest of the highest when it came to professional wrestling. When you ask someone who doesn't, who hasn't watched wrestling or knows nothing about wrestling, best believe they know of who heard of Hogan, not Macho Man. Damn, I could have not said better myself. So wait, what is he trying to say here? You know, okay, the Macho Man is known. But if you were to go up to somebody right now and ask them, do you know who Hulk Hogan is? Yeah, of course they're going to say yes, probably. Exactly. Because they, Hulk Hogan is, that's like, that's exactly what I said. Those were my exact words. Hulk Hogan got the push he needed, and then Hulk Hogan, you know, got all the fame. Like I said, he was probably the golden child of that in, of that industry. I mean, of that time. He was that time, he, of that, that era. Time, of that yeah, era. Of that era. So he that's was probably the why he boy. got, exactly. He, he got all the, the fame. He was the golden boy exactly. at that time. Exactly. And he took on many greats. He took on King Kong Bundy, Andre the Giant. The Magnificent Morocco, Paul Londor, Roddy Piper, like the, the now the, I feel I didn't. Somebody said he feels like NWO Hogan, Hollywood Hogan, yes, bigger pop. I Alvin Cloud said that. I gotta disagree with that because, like, like we were just saying back then, Hulk Hogan was the golden child of that era. So if you Hollywood Hogan was known and was really popular and everybody was shocked when they found out Hulk Hogan joined NWO. But that was but, that, that but that's why Ben Cliff said that was the biggest heel turn in the business. That was the biggest heel turn in the business, but like I feel like he had a bigger pop when he was Golden Child because you know he was still getting all of his fame well, and he was still he was still well, young. Listen, let me tell you so let me tell you something. When he came back to the WWE, he pretty much Made a pop, even when he was with the NWO. So that goes to show you, come back to your home, you're going to be welcomed back by a whole bunch of fans. Um, Brian says, Hulk Hogan is wrestling, period. 
Hulk Hogan's greatest match for me, despite the match not actually being that great. Hogan versus The Rock at Mania. I think the atmosphere was unbelievable. Um, but I'm not going to repeat that, sir. Uh, if you have that agenda of Hogan being a racist, that's thing. Um, and I'm not going to curse. We have friendly, It's a friendly show. Sorry. Um, but yes, we... It's, it's difficult at a point sometimes to see who, who is actually bigger, you know, so... It is really... We, that, that, that debate is always going to be out there. Absolutely. No matter what. No it's matter always going to be out there. I agree. No matter what, so... But, Jaden... Yes. I think our time is up. Today's topic was amazing. We appreciate everybody being here, everybody sharing our content. Next week, we were not thinking of going on, but... Um, it's still on standby. Um, next week is 4th of July. We might go live. We might not go live. Um, it all so, depends. Yeah. It all depends. Um, it all depends on what's going on. Yes. So, as always, fans, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and now TikTok. TikTok. We're going to be starting doing TikTok videos. You know, I'm just going to be by saying, macho man, going like that, you know? And, um, well, that's a good question. Who is better than Hogan is the question. Yes, that is a good question. Um, there's probably some guys that are better than Hulk Hogan. The wrestlers that wrestle most yeah. than Hogan. Exactly. So, yes, um, as we mentioned about our social media. Also, if you're having concerns, issues, or topics, email us at evolutionofprowrestling at gmail.com. July 10th, Trivia! Evolution of Pro Wrestling's episode three of Wrestling Trivia. Do you got what it takes? I don't know. Are you a true wrestling fan? I don't know. Just when you think you have the answers, we change the questions. For all of us here, wrestling fans, for myself, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling. And, and from, from me, the whiz kid of Pro Wrestling. Jay. Thank you, fans, for joining us. Thank you for your support. We'll see you maybe next week.